All right, Coach, going into uh, the next week, man. Truman State, big-ranked opponent. Should be an awesome game. Let's talk about last week against Finley. Slow start in the first half. Defense played well. Offense struggled a bit. You guys really uh, turned it on in the second half. What What did you see out of that game? Well, first of all, to go on the road seven, eight hours. You know, road trip is always uh, is always a tough task. You know, you get get your team ready and you know to overcome that. So you know, you're already kind of battling some adversity there. The kids handled it great. Um, now we didn't really start fast. It was kind of a slow half um, on both. So then obviously they were trying to, they wanted to try to run the ball and, and get the clock running to keep our offense off the field. We put a great drive together. We get down uh, on the one foot line. We got a score there. Um, doesn't matter, you know, whether the ref called it not a touchdown, doesn't matter. I mean, it, it doesn't change anything now, but still I was really proud of that drive because I feel like we probably did get some points out of that drive, but they called it otherwise and that just happened. So I still like the drive and then you know, defensively, really, uh, other than that first drive of the game and held them to a field goal to start the game off. Um, and then they, you know, the halftime adjustments by both coaching staffs, uh, offense, defensively, Havorka and Inama just did a great job with their staff to get the changes made. Um, uh, and offensively, we kind of started to really get going there. Looked a little bit more like what I feel like we can look like in the second half. And defense just kind of kept the pressure on all day and shut down really the, that, that league's top rushing offense. So, um, uh, you know, really did a really nice job. Yeah, coming off a win, going into Truman, kind of perfect timing the way you guys <clears throat> played in that second half. What do you see from the Bulldogs right away? I mean, obviously, top 25 opponent you mentioned. What are they going to bring to the table? Well, they're going to bring a very disciplined, um, well-coached football team. I, I, uh, that's kind of what's known, uh, you know, Truman State, Coach Nesbitt, uh, def offenses and defenses. and Well, teams are kind of known for that. Uh, so they do a great job coaching their kids. You see it. They got a really good running back um, who's uh, – you know, a tough runner, uh, runs hard, quarterback's very efficient, a uh, little playmaker, um, you know, and uh, they're just really consistent in what they do and they're sound, you know, defensively, I, you know, a sound defense. And that's what I really respect about programs like that. They, they just do, they, they do stuff fundamentally well and, and I respect that. And, um, you know, we're going into hostile territory, obviously. They just, be, just became the 18th ranked team in the country. They're, Running back, well-deserved uh, player of the week this week. And, um, you know, and of course, they feel like in 2019, they, they got out of here in a really heartbreaking loss. And I know that they're going to be uh, holding on to that, too. So we, we, ha we have a lot of things to overcome, um, you know, and uh, uh, it's really, the, you know, we just got to be ready to go into that situation. But we have a lot to play for, too, and, and I think our guys will be ready. Going into a week of practice, you know, it's it's a big game. Obviously, you know, nerves get there a little bit. It's a little bit more focused. Uh, how are the guys dealing with it? Are they dealing with it like a normal week, or is it kind of uh, you know, a little different feel in practice this week? Well, I kind of felt it right after our game when we usually break down as a team um, and talk. You know, they, it's like they, they were excited they just won that game against Findlay, but you could kind of tell that uh, – uh, that went over that that got over quickly and when I kind of announced you know hey we're in finally in the conference play and um, I know our kids have been looking forward to that I, I know they're really excited and uh, I think we'll have a really focused practice this week and um, you know I th I I, uh, I I can see that with our kids and the first time we met with them and um, you know I anticipate a good week of practice and uh, we'll go give it our best shot. How do you feel going into this week? You know, you mentioned GLVC play starts. How do you feel like you guys have uh, performed thus far, and how do you uh, expect preparation this week? Well, I don't think any of us liked how we started. You know, week one, it just didn't. We didn't play like a confident football team. We were, um, you know, sitting out that long. Did it hurt? Did it? Did it not hurt? I don't know. But you know, uh, but. but over the three, four weeks now, we've kind of started to see, uh, fix some of the things that we need to fix, address some of the things that the kids are buying into the things that we're asking them to. And I think these last two weeks, our kids have played a little bit more of what we feel like looked a little bit more familiar. We're not there yet. We still got a lot of work to do. And, um, you know, I think this week, all we're focused on is having a good week of practice. Awesome. Anything else you want to add? No, thanks, TJ. Appreciate you.